players that were honored were Caleb Marte, the senior guard. His parents joined him. Mom got a nice bouquet of flowers. Derek and Elgin's parents were there. Same thing with mom getting the flowers. Dad also joined. Eli you know, Kirk from my last year's TVL MVP and ostensibly this year's. I don't see any competition for that award for Eli. He's been fantastic. Ending his home league career tonight, there will obviously be at least one or two more home playoff games. But as far as his regular season, uh, tonight's it. His parents, Keith and Terry, were out there to join him also. Um, Trey Fasani was accompanied by his dad. Um, and Trey, like all the seniors, had a favorite Bible verse to share. They were all very uplifting and very, very warm moment for everyone to get it. Uh, the last so seniors were Griffin Diabreo, who was injured in uh, the football section final. Did not play at all this senior season, but he's been here every game, helping out on the bench, uh, out on the court during warm-up, mission passes for the team to run some plays, and just uh, staying engaged with the great leaders on this basketball team that he's been. And uh, Justin Hoffman. The little point guard who uh, the other night against Griffin, I had to point out, looks slightly built, looks like a choir boy. He's one of the toughest characters out there, not afraid to take it right as a big man on the other team, with no fear for life and limb. Great kid, great player, and also joined by his uh, mom and dad. Dad's the assistant coach for the varsity, by the way, Jason. And the last one uh, of the seniors to be Brought out to the court for senior night, and he got the biggest ovation of all because he just rejoined the team. Uh, Wednesday night at Ripon, big Tyson Vanderhoof, all league last year, and he's all league in everybody's book every year. On a side note, Tyson is the first person my wife and I met over almost two years ago in moving into Ripon. And it uh, remains a great memory for us that that was uh, written in our minds for a long time. And he's really lived up to that, that villain. Uh, Tyson's joined by his parents also. He and Griffin will be going on not to play basketball, but to play football at Black Hill State College in South Dakota. And it's just wonderful that they both have a very nice soft landing spot uh, after their RC athletic career is over. Um, Speaking about tonight's game, let's, let's take a look at the two teams. Houston is uh, playing out the string, basically. They have one more game to prove their worth tonight. They'd like nothing more than to knock Griffin Christian out of the ranks of the unbeaten. RC is 11-0 in league, trying to be 12-0. Quite an accomplishment for this little Division Four program in a league with all Division Five opponents. They've swept the league so far, never winning by less than 12 points in any league game. An incredible accomplishment. They're a small roster. The addition of Tice uh, really stretches the bench out. It gives uh, senior big man Jace Biedelman some quality rest and a quality substitution. Uh, both big men are fantastic on the boards and on defense, and also Offensive threats in various ways. Jace, a little more athletic, has a great outside shot as well as a lot of inside moves. And Tice is just a space eater and a grinder. And he will not stop going for the rebounds or going for the shots. He's relentless on both boards. So, um, speaking of RC, I'm looking out at the uh, warm-ups, and I see uh, one player always stands out because he's got bright orange uh, shoes, and that's Luke Cabello, the soft shooting shooting guard, junior, one of two juniors on the team. And I look for a big game I'd have this tonight. Uh, the sound at the end of warm-ups, and it looks like uh, both teams will be filling the events. We should have the starting lineup introduced. 
uh, in just a moment. We'll be right back. Starting. To the point guard, shooting guard, 5'11 senior, number five. Number 21, David Delgado, not on the roster, but starting. Fade McLaughlin, starting, number 24, he's a uh, shooting guard. The starters are not on their roster. No surprise. Here comes the Ripping Christian Knight. I believe it could be an all senior starting lineup. Number two, Derek Van Alden, starting at guard. Eli Kirchner, senior guard, number three. All the players going over to stroke the opposition face his hand. Kate Rafani will be starting up front. A physical power forward. Point guard, Justin Hoffman, each ball handler. Big price for Andrew Hook to start in the final home regular season game for the position. Justin Hoffman of the opening prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day and thank you for the game of basketball. Please help us to represent you on the court and our actions and our words. I pray that both teams stay safe tonight and we have to take it home safely. Amen. Amen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you rise to remove any hats as we honor America with our national anthem. Thank you. 
I have trouble hearing. Officials are at the scoring table, taking off their warm up jackets, getting ready to go up to center ice. I'm sorry, center court for game number 12 of the TVL season for both teams. RC 11 and 0. And uh, Justin Riggs, the head coach, Houston Huskies are 3 and 8. Nice Vanderhook. He's going to jump against uh, number 21, David Delgado. Ball's up and we're on their way. Tice with a back tip to Vasani. Brings it up court. Inside to Vanderhook. He dribbles once, puts it up and in. Great move by the big senior center. 2 nothing. Ribbon Christian. Tyson Riddick brings the ball up court to the left side, over to Delgado. A couple of dribbles, and then he feeds Tony Quintavaros at the top of the free throw line. Steal by Justin Hoffman, and the ball is stolen back. Stone with the ball. McLaughlin. Quick jumper by Kyson Riddick, no good, but he gets his own rebound and brings it back out. They reset. RC in a 2-3 zone. Okay, McLaughlin with the ball. Into Kintaris. Big man shooting a three. Hits the back rim and out. Scramble for the rebound. Taken by Tyce Vanderhoek. Took it off the floor, actually. In the corner to Eli. First time he's touched the ball. The MVP dribbles wide to the right, and it's kicked out of bounds accidentally by Cade McLaughlin. So, Knight's ball inbounding right in front of head coach um, Justin Riggs of Houston. Into Hoffman. He's way up high. Dishes to the left side of Van Eldrin. Takes a look, then back to Justin. Van Eldrin, three-point try. Hits the rim and out. Rebound Hoffman. Back to the basket. Takes it out to Fasani. Back into Van Eldrin. Back to Fasani. He dribbles the free throw line. Out to Hoffman in the right wing. Into Vanderhoek. They're looking for an opening. Hoffman drives, he's hit, and the ball goes out of bounds. Kind of a mini collision with uh, number 43, uh, Yarbrough. Eli Terps with a jumper that's long on the inbound play. Rebounded by Quinteros. Big drive and a foul. Cade McLaughlin went up the left side of the free throw line. Trey Fasani tried to block the shot and uh, ended up getting a piece of McLaughlin. So he's at the free throw line trying to put his Huskies on the board. They'll be shooting two on the shooting foul by Fasani. Dribbles three times. Sets, shoots. Front rim no good. A little bit short. Stretches his arms. Back to the free throw line, gets the ball. Triples once, twice, three times. He's ready. Shoots, perfect. Two to one, Ripping Christian. 6-16 to go in quarter number one. Justin Hoffman, the usual ball handler, brings it up court. Looking for an open man. Dribbles off to the right side. Dasani's got it there. Dribbles back out. Looking for a cutter. Wide open hop on left side three is short, well short, and rebounded by Quinteros. Brings it up to McLaughlin. McLaughlin dribbles, holds it. Back out to Kaisen Riddick. Quinteros holding with his back to the basket up at the top of the three-point line. A jumper is no good by McLaughlin. Rebounded by Vanderhoek. He's on the floor, but he's fine. And it will be ripping Christian Ball. We had a foul. Derek Stone with the foul on Vanderhoek. Not a shooting foul, so just RC possession. Five and a half to go first quarter. 
Bassani's driving baseline, puts it up and in. He saw a slight opening, headed right for the basket. Got in the air and like soft as a baby, when it put it in. Here's a baseline drive by Houston's number five, Kyson Riddick, and a beautiful cross under shot for two. It's four to three, RC. Bassani in the right wing, dribbles out to Van Eldren. Hoffman top of the key three, but it looks like it's wide right, and it is. Rebound battle. Tice got a, a piece of it, but Houston comes up with it. Number 25, Garrett Stone dishes it over to Cade McLaughlin. Over to number five, Kyson Riddick. He's up at the top of the three-point line. Dribbles in deep. Feeds the center for a layup. Good. Real nice pick and roll. Tony Quintero slays it in. And what do you know? Houston is taking the lead at 5-4. Eli looking for a shot, but no. Hoffman's open. Vanderhoek comes out and takes the pass. Hoffman tries another three. This one's off the front rim. No good. Bassani grabs a rebound and in midair puts it back in off the backboard. 6-5 RC. Riddick brings it up. A lot of seniors on Houston. They're uh, the prime ball handlers, Riddick and McLaughlin. Pitch and cut, uh, go by Stone. He throws it up and it rolls out. That was another nice pick and roll. Here comes Vanderhoek with a rebound. Kasani lost control of the dribble and it goes over to Houston. McLaughlin stops and pops and hits a rim and out. Battle for the rebound again. Taken by Houston in the corner. They feed McLaughlin in deep, but he's stolen. Here comes Bassani down the lane. Feeds Van Eldrin. Layup good. Great job by both boys. Bassani with the hard dribble. Spotted his teammate cutting and hit him in stride for the lay-in. Went on off the backboard. Just said hello to Jacob Coase, the all-league first baseman, who was also injured in the football game that put out Debreu and Vanderhoek for the RC football team. Jacob would be the top hitter on the uh, RC baseball team this year, but he is unfortunately sidelined till next season. As a senior, that means he'll be starting his college career at the Masters University down Southern California. We wish him well. God bless that boy. He's a good one. All right, the players are back on. Or 3.43 to go in the first quarter. And Houston inbounds on the backcourt, trailing 8-5. Kyson ready to bring it up against Caleb Marte now in the game with defensive pressure. Caleb gets back in, and Riddick puts it in. Actually, both players did exactly what they needed to, just a little bit better by Riddick for the uh, shot. Marte up top, dishes it over to Van Eldrin, tried to get it in, and it gets batted over to Marte again. He's got it way up high. He's dribbling toward the right and now left. Gets it to Van Aldrin. Inside to Beetleman, who's replaced Vanderhoek. Back to Marte for a little five-footer. Oh, off the back rim and out. Beetleman rebound no good. Rebound no good, but he's fouled. He was a relentless on the boards, and he'll be shooting two. It's 8-7, Murphy and Christian Knights. There's 3.06 to go in the first quarter. And Big Jace Beetleman, the junior center, is shooting two. He dribbles shoots, and hits. Trey Fasani going out, and uh, Luke Crivello, sweet shooting guard number four, is in. So both juniors on the roster are in the game now, Crivello and Beetleman. Jace hits his second free throw, nothing but nothing on both of them, and it's 10-7 nights. Long pass up court to Cade McLaughlin in right corner. He's just holding it, looking for someone inside. He's got Quinteros, who's looking for a cutter. It takes a 15-foot jumper. It's it around the back, front, side, and out. Terps up, rebounds it, pushes it up court, inside, outside, Crivello dribbling, takes it out to Terpsma. He's looking to drive. He gets it taken away all alone, out front. Cade McLaughlin lays it up. Oh, he tried to dunk it, and he got a partial dunk. He's not that tall. Kid's only 6'1", and he dunked it easily. It's a turnover for RC, and here comes Kyson Riddick. Houston's uh, playing up-tempo. They're looking good. Riddick, take the three. Go to Quinteros on top. He drives on Beetleman, spins. He ran, I do believe. Yes, traveling call. 
Beetleman did not give any ground. He moved his feet. He stayed with him. He played textbook defense. All right, here comes R.C. Hoffman back in, bringing the ball up court. Uh, they have their normal starting unit on the court right now, except for Van Eldrin. He dribbles to the free throw line. Out to Cavello, back to Van Eldrin, up for a little four-footer off the backboard and in. This Van Eldrin kid is fantastic. The coach the other night said he's like nitro to a race car. They bring him in, and he just jump starts this squad. All right, here comes McLaughlin again for Houston up to the left side. He's got Quinteros, give and go to McLaughlin out the right wing. Now he's dribbling baseline, and we're going to have a holding call, I believe, on Derek Van Eldrin. He had the ball, but he also had the arm, and uh, McLaughlin went down. So it's inbound uh, under the basket for the Houston Huskies. Kyson Riddick looking to bring it in. Looking for a cutter. Nobody's open. Now he throws it way out toward midcourt to McLaughlin. Okay, McLaughlin with the dribble. He's dribbling left, right between the legs behind the back, but Van Eldrin isn't getting shaken off. Oh, a three-pointer by Riddick is up and over and out. Had a chance to drop back in, but did not. All right, Beetleman rebound. Hoffman brings it up. Corella for his first three of the night.